Hello friends, welcome to Club Craft Area. If you are new to this channel, subscribe my channel by clicking the subscribe and bell button to get more videos. In this video, we are going to see how to crochet this beautiful bag. For this, we are using yarn, crochet hook, cutter and a needle. This bag looks so cute and beautiful and the stitch used is very easy stitch and it is beginner friendly project. To do this bag, you want to know the basic stitches like chain, slip knot, single crochet and slip stitch. So first we will make a rectangular shape, then we will fold them and join the sides and then we will make a handle for this bag. So now let's see how to do this beautiful bag. Start with a slip knot. The foundation chain can be any number of chain based on the length of the bag which we are going to do. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. This is what we say it as chain and the foundation chain can be any number of chain based on the length of the bag which we are going to do. After doing the foundation chain, it looks like this. Next, we are going to work on the third loop of this chain. So, this V-shape is the chain. This is the front loop, this is the back loop. If you turn the work, you can see a bump like structure here. This is what we say it as the third loop. So for this route, we'll be working on this third loop. So turn your work, you are going to do single crochet on this loop. So you'll insert the hook in this loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. You'll have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through both the loops. So this is what we say it as single crochet. So next stitch, you'll see a bump like structure here. Insert the hook in this loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. You'll have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through next two loops. So likewise, you're going to do single crochet in each stitch till you reach the last stitch. So you are going to do single crochet in this third loop. After doing them, it looks like this. For next row, do chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work. We'll skip this first stitch since we have done the chain 3 on this first stitch. For this row, we are going to work on this back loop. So, in this chain, this will be the back loop. So, we'll be working on the back loops. So, insert the hook in the next stitch in the back loops. Yarn over, pull through the loop and pull through the other loop. So, do a slip stitch. Do chain 3, 1, 2, 3. And do a slip stitch in the next stitch by taking the back loops. Back loop, you are going to insert the hook, yarn over, pull through the loop and pull through the other loop. So it looks like this. This is the pattern which you are going to follow for this row by doing chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and do a slip stitch in the back loop in the next stitch. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and slip stitch in by taking the back loop of the next stitch. Insert the hook, yarn over, pull through the loop and pull through the other loop. So you have to follow them till you reach the last stitch. After doing them, it looks like this. For next row, do chain one. So turn your work. If you see here, this is the loop which we left in the previous round. So this is the front loop. So we are going to work on the front loops. We'll be doing single crochet on this front loop. So for this round, you are doing single crochet on the front loop. We have to do them till you reach the end. After doing them, it looks like this for next row. So now onwards, we are going to repeat these two rows. One row is a chain row and one row is the single crochet row. This chain row will be working on the back loop and single crochet row will be working on the front loop. So do chain three, one, two, three. Turn your work. You'll skip the first stitch and in the next stitch you're going to do a slip stitch by taking only the back loops. Chain 3 and do a slip stitch by taking the back loop. Next chain 3, do slip stitch by taking the back loops. So you have to continue them till you reach the end. After doing them, it looks like this. For next row, do chain 1, turn your work. We'll be doing single crochet by taking the front loop which we left in the previous round. So likewise, we'll be doing single crochet in the front loop till you reach the end. After doing them, it looks like this. So now you can see how the stitch looks. So it is very easy to do. You have to follow this two rows to get this beautiful stitch pattern. After doing them till the required size, it looks like this. Next, you can fold them to form like a bag. 
fold them like this so now we'll join these sides so we'll join them by take both the loops and pull through so next we'll be taking one loop from here this back loop and this front loop so we'll join them by taking back loop of one side front loop of the other side and pull back loop of one side front loop of other side and pull so likewise we'll be joining the side till you reach this end by following the same pattern we will join the other side as well let us take the back loop of one side front loop of other side and pull through back loop of one side front loop of other side and pull through after joining both the sides the bag looks like this so next we will do a handle for this bag start with slip knot The foundation chain should be any odd number. So for this back strap, I'll be doing five chains. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. This is what we say it as chain. So the foundation chain should be any number of odd number. One, two, three, four, five. After doing them, it looks like this. Next, you're going to work on the second loop from the hook. One, two. So here, if you see the chain, this V like structure is the chain. This is the back loop. This is the front loop. So we will turn the work so that you can see a bump like structure here. So we are going to work on this bump like structure here. So first you are going to do a single crochet. So insert the hook in the loop. Yarn over pull through the loop. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over pull through both the loops. This is what we say it is single crochet. Next stitch double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook in the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. You'll have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through first two loops. You'll have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through next two loops. This is what we say it is double crochet. So next stitch, single crochet. Next stitch will be double crochet. After completing the row, it looks like this. So we are going to repeat this pattern. For next row, turn your work, do single crochet in the first stitch by taking both the loops. Next stitch, double crochet. Next stitch, single crochet. And next stitch, double crochet. So it looks like this. For next row, turn your work, start the row with a single crochet. Next stitch double crochet, next stitch single crochet and next stitch double crochet. So you have to repeat them till the required length of the back strap you want. So the pattern is, yes, each row will start with the single crochet and we'll end it with a double crochet. So after doing them till the required length, the back strap looks like this. Next you do chain one, leave the yarn little bit for weaving and snip of this yarn after doing the bag strap it looks like this next we'll see how to join them to the bag place it like this and you're going to weave them so likewise we will be weaving them around same way we will weave the other end of the bag strap this side after joining the strap to the bag, the bag looks like this. Bag looks like this. If you like this video, like, share, comment this video and also subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe and bell button to get more videos. Thank you friends.